Howdy, howdy, folks! It is Diecast Buffet here again, back with another episode of NASCAR Thunder 2003. Holy cow! So, uh, the paint scheme for Bristol, you know what? We're gonna do the Bassmaster car. We haven't ran that yet. Wow, what a finish! I mean, what a finish at Phoenix. Bobby Labonte gets a victory. I mean, look at look at these winners. I mean, Pontiac goes to victory lane twice, Dodge, Ford, and Chevrolet. I mean, very a a uh, very mixed bag of manufacturers in victory lane. But, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we're up to 12th place in the points. So that's good. Uh, we're only 233 out. We had two back-to-back -to -back top fives, uh, which is very good. But Mark Martin is still your points leader. And, uh, yeah. Oh, God, don't look at that number. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> anyways, let's go to Bristol. Alrighty, folks, let's just say we failed post-qualifying tech because we qualified 40th. Let's go into the down track side for the Food City 500. Welcome, everyone, to Bristol, Tennessee for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Food City 500, right here on MRN. Barney, this place has been referred to as the world's fastest half-mile oval. Add 43 cars to that, and you've got a recipe for some exciting racing. Well, that's right, Joe. The fans here love watching this race. There'll be some bumping and banging out there, and this one, you can be assured of that. The 199 car is having some trouble in the points this year. Well, there's always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine. Jeff Burton looks to continue his top five streak with a good finish here. He can sure gain a lot of points if he continues his top five streak. Just goes to show it doesn't always take wins to move up in the points. Alrighty, folks, here we go. So it's Tony Stewart and Scott Wimma on the front row today for the Food City 500 Bristol Motor Speedway beating and banging action. Here we go. This is going to be exciting. This is going to be exciting. So this is going to be a tough one, though, because we're going to be starting 40th place. 40th. I mean, that's Michael Waltrip country. No offense. Or more actually more like. Kyle Petty country because Michael Waltrip did have some good starting spots here and there. So, oh boy, here we go, here we go. Oh, we're on the outside too. Oh boy, yep, 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 yep. Sorry, that's the outside for you. Oh boy, just get to the bottom and try to work our way to the front. Fifty laps around Bristol Motor Speedway. And our car is slow. Come on, we gotta get better than this. <clears throat> Come on, buddy. I mean, our car just takes off pretty slow, but I'm gonna keep digging. We gotta get some points here. We, we need to just, just survive, a top 20 at worst. I mean, we're, we're getting closer to the front. We're only 200 points out. You gotta think about that. We're only 200 points out of the, the championship lead, so it's not like we're we're starving for points. Uh, but you just you don't want to be outside the top ten with 400 points out or something like that. You you got to be realistic. You need to stay within a consistent margin, you know. Because I mean, you, you know the AI are gonna have an oopsie here and there. I mean, heck, Tony Stewart finished what like 29th, 30th something uh, last race. So I mean, you're gonna have some oopsies, but. Guys, we're running for dead last at Bristol. Uh, this ain't gonna float. We got we got to find a way to get to the front here in in a hurry, because if not, we're gonna go a lap down. So I don't know what I could do to the car, though. I mean, there's nothing I can really do. The acceleration's maxed out. Uh, the wedge is maxed out. I just I don't know what we could do, guys. But 2006 has been a struggle so far in terms of the win column. But hey, at least two back-to-back -to -back top five finishes. Bristol, I don't know about this one, folks. Come on, come on, come on. Gotta just keep digging, man. Just don't give up. Keep going. Oh, sorry, Hamilton. <clears throat> come on, come on. Oh, Nelly. Whoa. 
Go, 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 go! Dang it! We're in the fence. Oh, man, we gotta keep the car in the fence. Oh, they're trading, trading paint with the 55 right now. 41st. That leader is less than a half a straightaway, or pretty much a straightaway away at this point, so that's always good. Come on, come on, come on. Gotta catch up to that 15 car there, folks. Ooh, on the outside. I mean, just, just let it all hang out there. Gotta find a way to get to the 51. Or 15 car, not the 51. What is this, Kurt Busch, 2012? Oh, Lord. Come on, come on, come on. We're gaining a little bit, just a little bit, though. But we, we gotta hurry up and just pass as many cars as possible because that leader's coming. And once that leader's there, you're going to lap down. Uh-oh, we got, we got Stanley Steamer down there, the 36 Pontiac. He's gonna be out of this one early, folks. Good thing is we already ran 12 laps, so it means we're almost halfway through the end of this fuel run. Which, of course, pit stops lap 24, 25. Hello, Michael Waltrip. And unlike Thunder 2004, there's not that crazy Bristol glitch with Ward Burton, so I think we'll be okay. Oh boy, come on. We just got to get around this dude. That leader is coming. I mean, he is fast, and we're going to figure out who this man is. Let's see. Who is your race leader? It's Tony Stewart. Jamie McMurray. Attaboy. Bobby Labonte, Kurt Busch, and Scott Wimmer. Oh, I'm cheering for old Jamie McMurray, man. I hope he wins this thing. That'd be so cool to see him win at Bristol, man. I want to see some of these young guns come up and try to knock off some of these other drivers. Sorry, Michael Waltrip. I've got to go. Tony Stewart, I mean, he, he, right now, I tell you what, he's running late. He is flooring it. And the good thing is these cats are kind of nose to tail. So if you can get by one, you can get up to the next one. Everyone's kind of congested, and the AI doesn't pass AI too well, honestly. They, they kind of have a bubble system around them, so they're a little bit slower getting around them, you know. They have a clearance bubble. And what I mean by that is that when a car is in front of them, they slow down, right? But with me, I speed up. I try to find an opening. Uh, a, you know, a gap underneath the car I could dive underneath. They kind of have like, okay, if the, the guy goes to the outside, I can go to the inside. They don't try to force it, you know. Um, Tony is getting close. I mean, close. I can see him back there. I see an orange Pontiac, and I, I, I ain't having it, folks. I'm flooring it. Go, 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 go. Try to get away from Tony Stewart. That's basically what I'm doing. Sorry, Harvick. I'm going, buddy. I can't help it. I gotta go. Tony is on a mission right now. Come on, come on. I mean, it, it seems like the car handles better in traffic. You know, if it has clean air, I don't think it has the horsepower. Um, and to tell you the truth, I don't even know if we could fix anything on this. Because, I mean, it's, it's, I've, I've pretty much maxed out everything that we need. And we're going to barely just, just brush a little dirt on the side there. That was close. I mean, I could try to make it a little bit looser. That's it. It just doesn't have that takeoff speed that we need. See, now they're kind of getting a gap there. And the problem is, is when they have that gap, they, um, they, they're, they're faster, you know? But when they're bottled up, it's pretty good. So we got some cats coming down pit road here. Entry, um, 21 laps on a tank of petrol. You double that, makes it lap 40. Uh, ugh. I don't know, guys. We're still a little close on fuel. I, th I think I want to get to at least lap 25 before I pit. I don't know. We might catch a caution. You never know. We might catch a caution. Might be worth trying to stay out and lead, get that bonus point, honestly. Might catch a caution. You never know. What do we do, guys? Do we just try to stay out and catch a caution? Do we try to just lead that one lap, get those extra bonus points? I don't know what we do, guys. We generally have a game plan what we should do. And this one, I, I really don't. Um, I think we're good on field. Leader just pitted. I, I just, I'm, I'm hoping for a caution here, man. I mean, you got nothing to lose. We're not going to finish well if we don't try something, so. Come on, we need a yellow flag, something. 
on, come on, come on, come on. We need a yellow. Someone crash, man. I'm gonna try to stay out and lead that lap. I'm gonna try to because I don't feel confident in our finishing position today. Come on. Very low fuel. We're gonna have to come in at some point. I'm just hoping someone causes a crash right now. It's all we really can hope for. I mean, we're gonna be a lap down after this pit sequence anyway, so. I tried. <laughs> I tried. Trying to catch a caution and changing the outcome of the race. We're gonna have to pit now. Uh, no damage repair. Pause it. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do? No damage repair. Four tires. Can't do anything there. I mean, I could try to take two. I don't know. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? I'm going to say no. I mean, we're going to be in probably last place, honestly. There's nothing we can really do, you know? There's nothing we can really do. We had to go out. There. Look at Gordon's damage. Wow, Gordon got in a fender bender back there. Look, we stayed out. We tried to catch the yellow flag. Try to try to get, you know, something. Just wasn't in the cards today, folks. Wasn't in the cards. Just get ready for next week. That's all we can do. Try to salvage what we can. Because we're going to lose a lot of track position here. A lot of track position. Good God. Try to blend here. 30th. That ain't too bad. 29th. I'll take it. So somehow we actually gained a few spots. I don't know how we did that, but we actually gained a few spots. So that's cool. Now we, oh, we are lapped down. Darn it. Well, can we get our lap back? Because that's Tony Stewart right there. That that might be our race leader. Yep, that's our race leader. So one of these cats are leading the race. Let's see. It's, uh, yeah, Tony Stewart. So Mar Martin's a lap down. We're 29th right now. I'm not so worried about getting our lap back because I don't think we have a shot to win. But you see all those cars in front of them, right? That's opportunities to get points. You know, I'm just hoping everyone kind of gets wadded up a little bit. Maybe a car comes off pit road, slows everyone up, and we can try to make some passes here, you know. If we took two tires, we probably could have got ahead of Tony Stewart. But is it really worth giving, gaining five seconds to give up probably a minute worth of time on the track in tire wear? Because we're going to be so bad on tires, that it'd just be terrible, right? You really got to take four tires there, unfortunately. Anyways, we're slowly making a little bit of gains on our teammate, your Texas winner, Mark Martin. Trying to get to him, at least. Uh, old Tony Stewart's got a windshield full of a Dodge and a Ford right now. Come on, come on, come on. Trying to get that run on him. 15 laps to go today at Bristol Motor Speedway. Can it be back-to-back -back for the Pontiacs? Of course, Bobby Labonte won in the desert. Your Daytona 500 winner, Tony Stewart. Oh, sorry, Martin. Up to 28th. Oh, no, no, darn it. I thought I was clear. I got to get better at that, guys. I got to. Sorry, Martin. Martin, I did not mean to do that, bud. Darn it. But um, Pontiac's won two races so far. So if Stewart can win today at Bristol, that would be the third win. No other manufacturers have that many wins so far. Uh, that'd be pretty incredible for the Pontiacs to jump to three wins if Tony can hold on to this. Uh, hello, Newman. Newman is a lap down, so he's fair game. There we go, there we go. He is fair game. Oh, sorry, Newman. Sorry, bud. A little bit of an aggressive bump and run there. Again, I'm not so worried about passing Tony Stewart, but if he does hold me up, I will move him. I know he's the race leader, but I mean, if I'm, if I'm faster than him, just let me go. I mean, I'm a lap down. I'm no threat to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm racing for position. I got sponsors, you know? You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Ten laps to go at Bristol. Or really, nine laps to go for Tony. See, like right now, he's just not as fast as I am right now. So... I'm going to try to make the move on him. I'm not going to try to wreck him, but if you're slower than me, I'm going to go. I want to try to do it cleanly, obviously. I don't want to take him out, you know, 
Pontiac trying to do what he's got to do. But, I mean, if a caution came out, you know, you want to be on that lead lap. Cause, or, actually, we would be the free pass, but I don't think they had a free pass back then. We're the first car one lap down. Come on, come on. If we just get that run, man, we're, we're trying. Me and him are both trying to get around um, Mayfield here. Ooh, sorry, Tony. He's there, he's there, he's there. Come on, come on, come on. Dang it, I just don't have enough drive off off the corner to be able to get onto that 19 Dodge. Come on, if we can just clear that Tony Stewart car, that'd be great, but it can't. Just good old Bristol racing here, man. Just good Bristol racing. Ooh, there we go, to the outside. We clear the 20 there. So that's good. So we got around the 20. Now we can start working on the 19. There we go, bud. Okay, so we got around the 19. Now we got to get down to the one car over here. All right, can we get around Steve Park here? Just a few laps to go. Now that we're on the lead lap, we do get one extra lap to run because, you know, obviously if you're a lap down, you run one lap less than the, the lead lap car. So that gives us one extra lap to be able to pass some cats. Uh, that's, I guess, and he's two laps down? No? Oh, okay, now, no, I just I just didn't realize the scoring um, transponder changed up there in the top right. So we're up to 25th right now, which is good. Man, we got so many cars ahead of us right now. I want to pass uh, just two more. Just give me two more spots. Come on, come on. On the outside of Johnson, try to cross over here. Let's see, get a good, good pull a draft, dive in the corner. Oh, don't wreck your teammate. That's not cool. Didn't mean to do that one. Oh, Lord. It's Bristol. Just go with it. White flag in the air. One more time around Bristol for Tony Stewart. We're going to get one extra lap, though. So, perhaps we can try to get a little closer to Robbie Gordon. I don't know if we're about to pass him, though. Tony Stewart's going to win the Food City 500. Uh, Joe Gibbs Racing's third win of 2006. A big win for Mr. Smoke Show. Sorry, Robbie Gordon. Rubbin's racing. I want that spot. Bam! 22nd. We had to use up the old Ford right there. But I tell you what, we had to do what we had to do. Tony Stewart puts on a clinic four-second lead over Kurt Busch to win his second race of the year. Well, we got 22nd. We qualified 40th. We fought all day long. Somehow, someway, we were able to get to the end there. Um, yeah, definitely not the points day we needed, but hey, man, we rebounded. It could have been much worse. Domination for Tony Stewart. 44 laps led today at Bristol. Uh, incredible stuff for Tony Comes away with another Winston Cup win. That's pretty impressive. Bobby Labonte, who won last weekend at Phoenix, comes away with a top five. Scott Wimmer, great run for that cat. Bill Elliott, Ricky Rudd, uh, Daryl Wolf. Wow, Kyle Petty, Jerry Nadeau. A whole bunch of good runs. Even Ward Burton getting that 13th place spot. McMurray falls back to 19th. Good runs for those cats. Uh, good old Roush Kajir. Ken Ziff's going to come home with a 26th. Martin, bad run there. Junior struggling. Big struggle for Dale Jr. Marlon struggled. Uh, Harvick struggled. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm Jeff Purvis. The bottom of the barrel. A top 10 qualifying effort. Going to come home dead last. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Upload these every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the channel. So go ahead and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes. With all that being said, folks, hope you're having an amazing day out there. Diecast Buffet, signing off.